autism is. While talking to her friend one day, I heard my grandma talk and say that I was just the greatest lad, and that it's autism that I had. She talked some more, and again I heard her use that mysterious autism word. Now what I wondered could this be? My grandma said was part of me. I pulled her sleeve and she bent down and asked me why I wore a frown. She knew that something was amiss when I shouted, "Autism is." She smiled and told me not to worry or get into a great big flurry. That night before I'd go to bed, she would explain. Here's what she said: "You have a very special brain." That can move faster than a train. It tells your body to move about, so you will spin and jump and shout. Cause moving fast is so much fun, and off you go for another run. Your brain sends signals to your ear, so the tiniest little sounds you hear. Your eyes see more than I can see, and never miss an ant or bee. Your brain just loves to learn and read, and remembers words like centipede. It wants to learn and understand, so you explore things without end. Sometimes you get a little tired because your brain has been so wired. From all you see and hear and do, and all the running and jumping too, you might start spinning, lie on the ground, or make a great big yelling sound. That's how it is. You let me know. You need a calm, safe place to go. Your brain works in a different way from friends at school, but that's okay. All kids are different. That's a fact, and this is just the way you act. So now you know nothing's amiss because that's just what autism is. Logan drew ten little bees and hid them in the pages of this book. Can you find them? <laughs>